will show you. Itswa ka haru na haya henu le lapen la henu le ka haru bana ba henu o ye na heng e o nna ke tla o bontsha nyone. Let me give you the title for my message today. E re ke o fe se hlosa molaetsa wa ka kajeng. This is what has been working in my mind all this while. How can I become a more obedient child of God? That's the title of my message. How can I become a more obedient child of God? Now we look at the old man who was 75 years of age. God comes to him and says, Go from your country, your people, your father's household, to the land I will show you. But he doesn't come to the young man who is able to take risks. He's, he is talking to the man that is ready to take or who is already on pension. He said, get out of your father's house to the land that I will show you. God always connects obedience with blessings. Even when he does not describe that fully into details, what blessings may be, but he always connects obedience with blessings. Here, here what he says in verse 2 and 3, I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you and I will make your name great and I will be a blessing and, and you will be a blessing uh, to all the people on earth or to all the people on earth will be blessed through you. So God fulfilled his promise to Abraham, both through descendant and Jesus Christ. If you read Matthew number one, it will give you all the genealogy of Jesus Christ. It will give you the 14 generations that came into being before Jesus was born. Through, through Christ, every person in every country of the world has the opportunity to be blessed. With a relationship with God. In other words, to have a relationship with God, number one, it's a blessing. Although Abraham could never have imagined the amazing way God will fulfill his covenant. He always trusted the Lord. Which is why Paul says in the book of Galatians 3 verse number 6 when you report that Abraham believed God and it was credited to him as a righteous person because he believed and trusted God. People of God, obedience is a major characteristic of a person who is mighty in the spirit who is mighty in spirit generally speaking obedience characterized the faith of Abraham from his, his first encounter with God until his death how can I become a more 
obedient child of God. I'm going to give you four points and I sit down. One, we grow in obedience by having faith in the sovereignty of God. We grow in obedience by having faith in the sovereignty of God. Hey, if we fail to believe in God's sovereignty, we we'll find it difficult to obey Him. Abraham based his relationship with God on his confidence that God will do what he has promised. Can we read uh, Romans chapter 4 verses number 20 and 21? And when you read Romans chapter 10 verse number 17 the Bible says faith cometh by hearing and hearing comes by the word of God. Now here we learn or we learn to trust him more especially when we study his word and meditate on it. Because we will learn to trust in him. Read. So, he did not waver at the promise of God. He Who, did not waver in the, at the promise of God. He believed God even when there was no reason for him to believe. This man has spent almost uh, 1 quarter century of his life waiting for the promise of God to be fulfilled. Sometimes I look at myself how hastily I will want God to answer certain things. Because if God does not answer certain things, it's like we are going to lose people, we are going to lose certain things around us. Can't, can't the plan of God and the plan of people are different. He says, my ways are higher than your ways. And he said, my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. Remember whatever you were thinking walking into this church, the thoughts of God are different than your thoughts. So he did not stagger in his faith. He trusted God yet confidence in what God have said. As I was doing the study during the week, then I learned that I can grow in obedience by having faith in the sovereignty of God. What is it that can make me to have faith in God or in his sovereignty? It's when I view God bigger than the situation. It's when I view the things of God greater than Go, uh, greater than the things of this world. Food. Of God through unbelief, but was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God, and being fully convinced that what he had promised, he was also able to perform. Abraham believed God to such an extent that he was so persuaded, he was fully convinced. Abraham that what God has promised he was able also to perform. Remember that Abraham was not born again. It's a man that met God on the street like me and you. And God spoke to him through the dreams. 
did not even see God eye to eye. Maybe Unajiledi Nawa then he dreamt about God speaking to him. Maybe he might have eaten some beans but he believed God that time. Because God it has God introduced introduce himself as an almighty God to him. He appeared to Abraham as El Elyon, the most high God. He appeared to Abraham that I'm higher than anything that you may think about. I'm higher than any other gods of this world. I have seen that the world, even Christians today, are worshipping certain gods, though they don't want to claim that they are worshipping them. We, we somehow put our faith in those things. And and if we do not run after those things, we are not going to succeed. We'd rather put God and aside. And while we are busy looking things. at those things, God becomes smaller and smaller in our lives. We will be bigger and bigger in the knowledge that we acquire. That is why Paul decided that whatever he has accumulated, Ukshaya in Deva. He puts aside everything that he, he achieves. It tends to be a cow pie. Even to fail. When he compares it in Oksanga na Noches. Christian, it's time that we lift him up. We magnify him. To be bigger than our PhDs. Our bachelors and our masters. Even, you know, I was just looking at some of the I was just looking at some of the great men and the women of God, more especially from Nigeria. I, 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 I saw some of the people in Nigeria with big churches. Some of them were lecturers in the universities. I was looking at uh, Pastor Chris Yaklumi. Who started his ministry right from the university? I was looking at uh, 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 William Kumoi. Who was one who was a science teacher. A lecturer. A lecturer. But he took God more than the science that he has learned at the university. I, I, I've been looking at uh, the, the founder of uh, is this what what chapel? Oh, yeah, Oyedepo. David Oyedepo. David Oyedepo. Today he's got his own university. Because he had faith in the sovereignty of God. They've tried everything. They became all what men desire to be. Once they are done, they took all of us about God. And put them aside. Hallelujah. Amen. And as I was looking at the church of, 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 of William Kumui, it said 35,000 per session. He took aside what was the most treasure from everyone who was applauding him, he but looked, he wanted he people to call him the pastor. sovereignty of God and he put all his faith on it. Going to school, yet don't put God behind the class. Let God be your God wherever where you are. Do not undermine God. Do not sell the truth that you know about him. 
Let God be God. People of God, our God is not educated, but He's the one who created education. He is the one that has created all of those institutions, and He's the one who says, And when He studied, He never said, How we tutor, and leave. God. One day I was walking in Soweto. There was this old lady who was walking on the street like a man. And her hair was so great. And I asked her, she this was woman. a methron. As she was a man. Her mind, but she lost you accept her mind. the Lord build your mind. People of God, in Keloro Mutimu, ah, whoever builds it, build it in vain. Manga, among ye, ah, hangwe, ahela de fe. Please don't lift up your education more than the sovereignty of God. Seke wa pahami sa di chuto za hau fi kamu tepe ibamuti. Don't lift up your money and your accumulation of wealth above the 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 the, the knowledge of God. Kapa hana wa pahami sa le chuto le unani le unani di chuto zau di fumani hufi chuto za chuto. Credentials or degrees. But in comparison with what God is in his life through Jesus Christ, he put all those things aside. He understood something. That the reason why we are going to school is to learn this, to know about this God. Then he said, Now I have found him. Everything I put and God them aside. used Paul to write the two thirds of the New Testament. When the enemy threw him into prison, he used that prison as a place to write some of the chapters that are in the Bible were written by him. Let God be God in your life. Don't allow anything to take the place of God in your life. Abraham did that. He said to listen and to hear what God says. That's why Paul says, Faith cometh by hearing. And the hearing cometh by the word of God. We learn to trust Him as we study and meditate on his way. Number two, we grow in obedience by waiting for God's timing. Oh my God. Let's go to Galatians 4 verse 4. God is very time conscious. Not in terms of the minutes, seconds, but in regard to our acting in obedience according to his schedule. The scripture says, Listen to what the scripture is saying. Throughout the scriptures, we found him moving at the set time. It says, But when the fullness of time was come, God sent forth his son made of a woman made under the law God made God created his son he brought him in time God is time conscious. Each and every person God has wanted them to At a certain period of time, I want you to be at a certain level spiritually. Our God is not opposing us going to school. But but we should not be as though we Our are taking life either need one to be balanced. Study to show yourself approved. 
Study to show yourself approved. A, a workman that need not to be ashamed. But rightly dividing the word of the truth. It's in the amen. Same amen. We grow in obedience by waiting for God's timing. Our God is neither early. And our God is neither late. He is always on right time. When God shows up, it's a right time. You may think that you are running out of time. But God is not running out of time. You may think you are so far. But if God says you will build that 2020 vision and you will be part of it until its completion, He is going to give you that ability to be able to do it. Wait upon the Lord. Do not rush. Even if people may come to you that are running out of time, here's monopause are taking you, but you are running out of time. People are married and you are not married. The most important time for you is not the one of your marriage, but it's the one between you and God. It's not of the kind that you are looking for. You are getting married and you are not married. You are getting married and you are not married. You can get a car even on the and last minute. And the day you find it, you'd be addressed and you won't be able to drive it. And the day you find it, you'd be addressed and you won't be able to drive it. And the day you find it, you'd be addressed and you won't be able to drive it. And the Sometimes God does not want to give you a house because he does not want you to own any house. He wants you the time you have that house, you would tell people that this is my grace. Others would be proudly saying it is because of our money, but you would be saying it's only because of the grace of God. The accumulation sabona, the wealth sabona. When I will praise them, how oh the manifold grace of God. As they are praising their accumulations, when I will about Rory Samo, how I will demote this in the church. But I will tell the professor, say he answered Tolana Li Jesus. Is in the church when I just stand up and I You will even see the professors that are coming. Only that but are told would, by oh, Jesus, yes, not I'm these a professor of one, two, three, four, five. They will say, "Nike professor, but there is no one greater than Jesus in my life." Jesus Christ is Lord over all. Jesus Christ is Lord over all. Wait for God. God is neither early or late. When, is, when he arrives, he arrives. arrives on time. It doesn't matter whether you are a failure today. Failure today does not define your tomorrow. Your failure today does not define your destiny. Remember that your destiny is in the hand of God. It is never in the hand of man. Thank there's something that I've been questioning the Lord about. But as I'm coming along the way, it shows me that if I want to give you you are going to lose a lot of money to do that day. But once you are in that 2020 vision, you have this and that that is more. Me how to get to the side. As that for start bar. Now I'll just say, Bona, don't judge me on my destiny, because my destiny cannot be compared with their destiny. Don't judge me. On the journey that I'm taking, this is my race. I can run the race. As I am on the road alone. Because there's a race that is set. Hovanipa moja shuliante. I join God. I don't run the race, but I'm in the grace. I'm in the grace of God. And the grace picks me up. Where I am failing. The grace lifts me up. Where I am failing. The grace will shook me. 
Where I am fading, the grace will cleanse me. Where I am fading, when people who knew and who have studied how people fade, when they come to question me and said to me, how did you make it? I will it say it is not by might, nor by power, it is not by might, no by power. Meaning it is not by my money. In other words, no my accumulation of education or wealth. But it is by the grace of God. Then number three. We continue to grow in obedience by refusing to subject God's plan into common sense. By refusing to subject God's plans to common sense. Or the, reason, or the reasoning of the world. Most of the theologians, they are, they are using their reasoning capacity. And they reduce God to common sense. They bring God to the world standard. And when God comes to world standard, it becomes a religion. That is why when it becomes a religion, the Catholic have their own way to approach it. The Catholic have their own way to approach it. The Hindus have their own way to approach it because they choose it to the sense and the reasoning capacity of the world. Then Hence they would even describe God and say God must have a big tummy and a long trunk. And then now those smart Christians, they'll say, God needs to understand. Let tapelo ya how has it tapelo chits and the it's a shallow prayer. Mudimu Galibitolanta de la Murala Moyo Halang. Amen. Even your prayer, it is not the one that touches because the heaven. You have to reduce it. Tapelo yane how finyana mo. Tamelo mo kenyo umutise mo bato. Hovani otame ya umutola and bring him here. The the day umutise into that level. When you bring him, he becomes an idol, but not God. And he won't have faith in a small thing. Then somebody offers something. Then somebody else will come and give you something. And you will begin to worship it. Once God becomes small to you, ancestors become greater. The cult, the bahol. Even cults, they the become bigger. Sangomas, they become greater. Even prophets, they become Dim. greater. Because when you have reduced God to reasoning senses, tell them if you want to grow, that how about the whole? In obedience, in obedience you must refuse to subject God to common sense and the reasoning of the world. Amen. Some things God requires or whatever God requires may look really ridiculous to humans. It might, it might look ridiculous to human perspective. Certain things that God requires. He told Abraham, You will have a son. Yes, he did. He told him, You will have a son through whom I will bless the whole world. And guess what? Abraham. Abraham believed. 
Yet the Lord allow Abraham's obedience to be severely tested. Look at Abraham. He believed God. But it took him 25 years. Got a century. A quarter of a century. For him to receive that promise. His faith was severely tested. Child of God. Do not be hasty. Do not rush. I know that you have bought a chest of drawer. Do you know what a chest of drawer is? Now, kisti ibulela ibulela hope chest. Kisti ibulela hope chest. Hope chest. You pack. The day I go home. And how today? Have your home, Kaje. And you are now and waiting for a person to take you to your own home. And God is saying you have your own two legs. And God does not say, I am going to be a perfected God the day you are made. You did not go to school because you are waiting for and Mr. Perfect. And I are actually playing with you. How many are they? Now, now, from 1987. At times, even when you close your eyes in the evening, Unalibuka yadi chronicles. And you would think, 1957, you have a book, that's so Unalitina, was was like this, and this size, and he stayed at this address. Kana and you would ask yourself, and uh, some of them are no the phone numbers are 016. Baba Mbabona, you grant their numbers, cell phone numbers. The it's not the only phone numbers. It's okay, but six. Before it was six numbers, it was four. Only book of the chronicles. You have a book of chronicles. That you know it was nice with that one. And the devil intervened. And Satan didn't let you how. And the devil then was your sister. At times, yes, we rush. Because we see other people as though they are but succeeding. But is it true? They are succeeding. You know, I like so and so. Look at where they stay and they are driving this car. The day an evicting note comes, it is the day that you will realize that whatsoever you were holding on was just in vain. Do not be attracted to things without knowing. Without knowing how they are attained. Do not run after things. You are busy playing with your cell phone in the class. And you are busy with someone who's looking at your body. Let me tell you, a person's body has an order. If you don't ona, ona, me, wa, stay three days without a bath, the very same one of yours. A human being's body is annoying. If you don't believe me, ask your neighbor. Do you see them that they're sitting next to that you? person have worked to the way for them to have that smell or scent that they have. Not busy, busy. And you are busy, busy. Just look at yourself. You even took your week on credit.
Instead, they have a regular book. That you would have bought yourself a book and fixed your brains. Mabana, I was at a business meeting. Yesterday, kinekile kopanunya kwe. There's this man, anangabua from the Department of Agriculture and Honale, Rural Development. Honale mona eno yeleng abua shanga kwa penlati. He moved me when he used scriptures. Uilan suti sa hante hana seberi sabo. Marabua ka agriculture. And sisi, but he was talking about timo. I was listening to Charles. Kinekima mete Charles. Ayeka na hopula gize kibata utiba hona. You remember I said I want to know whether this Changanu how did he get to where he is? I check it out. I, I found out. Mona uskipile mona He skipped this part and went mane here. A mane a he cheated there and, and went then there. Mona and here he did that. And he became high there. I said it. <laughs> That I want to know. <laughs> how did you get to where you are? <clears throat> but Oman. But he's up there. <laughs> how did you get there? <laughs> he gave us his story. What he wrote in the book. <laughs> will transform your life. <laughs> I listened to that. Then I listened to the person who never went to school. Sure. Standard two. With just standard two. November. Pastor November. He said something. I never thought of that. That, that God blessed the earth and also blessed the human being. And he placed him in the garden of Eden. And a human being was cast and God chased him out of the garden of Eden and, and he left the blessing day. And God placed the angels to guard the garden of Eden. Up until God found a person. He found Abraham. And he said, I will bless you. And Abraham And Abraham was blessed. And Abraham took the blessing and passed it on Isaac. to Isaac. Then after it was on Isaac, he says to Israel, go and hunt for an animal for me in the field. So that I may bless you. Then he said, the blessing of man is no longer in God. But it's in a human being. I mean, I mean, I mean, knowing that he did not study a, 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 a Britannica, a, a Habala body encyclopedia. The commentary. And also the commentary. Then I believed. From nowhere. That God can take you from nowhere. I'll be somewhere. And place you somewhere. I, I, I understood the revelation of the word. That this one I did not take it because I took it from a certain book, but God revealed it through His word. I was moved. Totally moved. By the people who know the word and the Bible. You know, if you know the Bible and you are not How going around about it, it, I listen to you. To you. But if you disturb me, I but look at you right you in the eyes. Obua from which spirit? So that I may see how obua obua tuwa moyungu fi. And I see you and I get all tuwa. And if that thing is not correct, I'm going Oren. to catch you. Uh, scripture says it should run. But that scripture does not say that. 
But when you allow the spirit of God lead, not you leading the script. Revelation yama one was powerful. Yesterday's revelation in any matter her whole. Ring amen. Say amen. Ring amen. Say amen. Let me read maybe the, the last one. You see this Abraham. He went through a severe testing. Because I am. God had said to him, he must wait. A promise. Before he gives him his promise. And after Then afterwards, God gave him a promise. After then later, he tests Abraham you with the very same promise. Tested. And God always tells me that I will bless but you, but you will cry. I said, but? He said, with blessings. He said, with blessings. And he would, I would say, God, but you can see, but he will say, you will eat Nandos. I'll test. He will continue to test God's you. God's tests are not there to destroy you. But they are there to fortify you. For the greater blessing that lies ahead of you. Say amen if you heard me yesterday. If you heard me yesterday, You see, amen. God knew Abraham's motive. He knew the motive of Abraham's heart. It was Abraham. one of obedience. And when it came to time to complete the sacrifice, the Lord was the one who provided the ram to be used for Isaac's sacrifice. Learn to trust in God. You will see God arriving on the last minute. As the people that you trusted rejected you. Moving away from you and withdrawing from you. God would use something that you never thought would benefit you. And that thing would benefit you. Round about 1 a.m. in the morning. I was trying to sleep but I was unable to. God is saying these words. Or you will always experience the cycle of pain. Ask every woman about the cycle of pain. When you ask a woman about the cycle of pain, it's not a cycle of death. And any woman who does not experience the cycle of pain over another problem, she goes out to look for that pain. Because that cycle of pain, it's an indication of she's a giver of life. But if that cycle stops, as much as the woman won't feel any pain but she won't like the stopping because the stopping threatens her life she has to live by pain and God wakes me up and said but this time I want to visit the church I don't know ever do it. Isn't it that I you want stay to in visit Everton? the church or Louis Ross. I want to come and break the cycle of pain. Monday. Immediately, I told you, I said, he showed me the dishcloth. Then I said, you know, ever since I bought this dishcloth at church, I have never left food in my house and I've forgotten the cycle. And ever since that time, I've been thinking and meditating about the cycle. 
The cycle. Cycle. The cycle. Kujikuluha. And 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 the cycle in a little rhythm. Me mujikuluho on a lemo retito. Yesterday it was nice, but today it's painful. Yesterday it was it's a nice, cycle. but you are disappointed it's a cycle. today. But yes. that cycle does not always mean death. That cycle does not mean always That cycle does not mean always Sometimes that cycle of pain There is life in you You are a cardinal Cardinal is one of the most important Cardinal is one of the most important Cardinal is one of the most important You are a cat carrying human race You are a giver of life but there are these ones that are brought by the devil in your life. Trying to delay your focus. And God says, now. I want to break that cycle of pain. I will be number one. Then I said, I will be the first one. Then I said, God, what, what should he I said, do? Where's the envelope? I make an Obayi envelope. Ngola breaking the cycle of pain. And Easter right conference. It, breaking the cycle of pain. Easter conference. He said, I will visit you. There is something that I will the do. The cycle of pain. Cycle of pain. Cycle of pain. Cycle of pain. Every year, Leopard, it's a cycle of pain. Selimo, le selimo, you have a funeral. That is a cycle of pain. Every year, Honalia la selanki musebe, it's a cycle of pain. Selimo, le selimo, somebody loses their job. Every year, somebody would be a little It's a cycle of pain. Selimo, le selimo, someone is admitted to the hospital. And God is saying, get away, Rob. Make demo ori. I am going to break it. Get away, Rob, at that cycle. Then I said, God, you are rem reminding me of the Number things four, of the old. We grow in obedience by promptly responding in obedience. People of God, if you, if, 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 if you long to obey God, you will not hesitate when he tells you to do something. We grow in obedience by promptly responding to God. If you long to obey God, you will not hesitate when he tells you to do something. You will never hesitate because you because you have heard it. Even if it may not happen in the manner that you expected. But it's going to happen. He says to Abraham. I will bless you. Then he takes him to a certain place. Now once he was there and settled. God said to him. You are not going to settle here. Only your children will come here. Let's go. I want to take you somewhere. Your children have to be slaves first there. And after they come out of slavery. They will come and inherit the land that I have given you. We ask of things from God. And we want to Abba obey him. And he would tell us that we should ah, do things. And we would say, Hi, why would you want me to do this thing in this way, but so and so? Mamel, well, I do not desire your lifestyle. I want God to show me my own journey. I do not want to focus because on people's journey. Because they are going to hold me back Mamela on the journey I'm supposed to take. I don't want to do it. 
If the journey that you are taking is so difficult for you and it requires you to stay in the house of the Lord 24-7, it's a joal. It's a joal. Do that. If it means just on a random Saturday you have to come into this place to come if and pray, it's a joal. 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 It's a to obey God. And to do His will. 